at Language Arts 7. So today we are actually going to begin writing our TDA. Uh, what I need you guys to do is go ahead and click on, there's a link down here at the bottom. Let me hit refresh here. Um, and load our Black Cat TDA in a new window, uh, which eventually leads us to this. Uh, um, it kind of looks like a worksheet, but this is where we are going to be writing our TDA. Um, these blue boxes are where you're going to be writing your paragraphs. Here's where your introduction goes, your first body paragraph, your second body paragraph, third, um, and your conclusion. And also above them, I have broken down what needs to go in each box, okay? Uh, and when we're done, we can just go ahead and delete these things that we don't need anymore. Now, you're also going to need to have your um, active read and your outline pulled up. So let me do that. Okay, so I now have those pulled up. Um, here's my outline and my active read. All righty. Um, if we look at this TDA paper, uh, we have our four lines up here at the top. On our first line, we put our first and last name. On the second line goes my name, and make sure you spell it correctly, M-R-S period S-H-E-P-H-E-R-D, Shepherd. On the third line goes the class, so language arts, L-A-7, and then the period, period 8. On our final line goes the date. So we'll put 27, January, 2021. Okay. Um, and we know the prompt already because it was on our outline. But let's go ahead and look at it again. In Poe's story, The Black Cat, the narrator reacts in a way that is perceived as irrational. Write an essay analyzing how first-person point of view helps portray him as an unreliable narrator. Use evidence from the text to support your response. Okay, so um, if we look at our outline, we also have our thesis statement or what we're going to be arguing in this paper. So our thesis statement is, the narrator is viewed as unreliable because he's an alcoholic, violent, and overly impulsive. So... Um, if we are starting together, we're going to start with our introduction. Now, an introduction typically starts with a quote, a narrative hook, or a question. Um, I already have a quote in mind for this, um, but let's go ahead and look to see if we have anything that works better. Uh, our prompt is about unreliable narrators. Let's see if we can find any quotes about unreliable narrators. Okay, let's see. I think every narrator is an unreliable narrator. In a classic definition, an unreliable narrator is one who reveals something they don't know themselves to be revealing. We all do that. Eh, I don't really like it. We are all unreliable narrators, not just in the way we tell stories to others, but in how we tell them to ourselves. I do like that one better, especially because in The Black Hat, um, the story begins with him telling us that he's telling us a story. Uh, so I kind of like that one. We'll use that. So in our first box here, we are going to go ahead and start with quotation marks and say, we are all unreliable narrators. Comma. not just in the way we tell our stories to others, to others, comma, but how we tell them to ourselves. Okay, and make sure you close that with quotation marks. So we have our hook. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and highlight that. Mm, yeah, yellow is fine. Okay. Uh, now we need to give credit. So this quote was said by Deb Catelli. 
Yeah. Caletti. Caletti. Uh, so literally, I can just say these words were said by Deb Catelli or Caletti. C A L E T T I. Now we need to explain what this quote means. So this quote means we're unreli we are all unreliable narrators, not just in the way we tell our stories to others, but in how we tell them to ourselves. Means that everyone is unreliable in some way, whether it, oops, it is how they speak to others or how they speak to themselves. Have you ever told yourself a lie? Okay. All right. So now we've explained what our quote means. There's no reason to ever use a quote if you're not going to explain what it means. Oops. Okay. And we can't hit tab there. That makes sense. Okay. So now if we look here, paragraph one, introduction, we did our hook. Now we need a two to three summer, sentence summary of the text identifying the title and author. So let's do um, the title and author first. So we'd say in Edgar Allan Poe's, E-D-G-A-R, Poe's, and the story is called The Black Cat. It's a short story, so it goes in quotation marks. The Black Cat, comma. Okay, and now we need to have two sentences of plot summary. So an unreliable narrator is not what the reader would uh, anticipate him to be, period. Okay, and if you do not have Grammarly turned on, while you're writing this TDA, make sure you turn it on. It is a lifesaver and it will save you a lot of points. Even if you don't have it turned on, when I go to grade your TDA, um, I will get the things underlined telling me, oh, this is misspelled, oh, they needed a comma here. Uh, so make sure you have that. It'll save you a lot of points. Okay, so our unreliable narrator, he's not great. Uh, let's talk about him a little bit more. Uh, the beginning of the story talks about how he loves animals. So the narrator loves pets, especially his black cat. So throughout the story, he changes. Story. Comma. He goes through changes that turned him into a monster. All right, the reader must decide whether he is reliable or not. Okay. So with that, we did our two to three sentence summary. And I also kind of moved on a little bit into our transition sentence. So our two to three sentence summary, in Edgar Allan Poe's The Black Cat, an unreliable narrator is not what the reader would have anticipated him to be. The narrator love pet, loves pets, especially his black cat. And throughout the story, he goes through changes that turn him into a monster. There's our three sentence summary. Um, our transition sentence so we're getting back to him being reliable. The reader must decide whether he's reliable or not. And now we have our thesis statement. And over here in red, it says, fill in, fill your reasons in. We're going to do that. So our thesis statement is the narrator is viewed as unreliable because he is an alcoholic, violent, and overly impulsive. Copying those reasons. I'm hoping it'll let me copy. Okay, and in fact, I am going to copy that entire sentence. Make sure you don't copy that quotation mark. We don't need that. 
and pasting it in there. Getting rid of that extra space. Okay, so there is our introduction paragraph. Okay, we've done everything we need to do. We've got our hook. We've got our two to three sentence summary. We've got our transition sentence. And we put in our thesis statement at the end. Okay, your thesis statement is what guides your entire paper. So we are going to use this sentence to write the rest of our paragraphs. Um, the narrator is viewed as unreliable because he's an alcoholic, violent, and overly impulsive. Our first body paragraph is going to be about him being an alcoholic. Our second body paragraph is about him being violent. And our third body paragraph is about him being overly impulsive. Okay. So we have those labeled. And in fact, I'm going to highlight them. I think you should as well. So you know what each paragraph is supposed to be about. Oops. Oops. Okay. So I'm also going to get you started on your first body paragraph here. So our first body paragraph is about him being an alcoholic. We need a topic sentence that introduces the first reason why he's an unreliable. We don't just want to say one reason the narrator is unreliable is because he's an alcoholic. No, I think we can do better than that. Um, so, okay. So, Something that introduces that this paragraph is about him being an alcoholic, but not coming out and directly saying the first reason is blah, 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 blah. Let's just talk about alcohol. So alcohol, oops, I still have caps locks on. Alcohol, uh, what, is it, what does it do? Uh, inhibits or prevents, inhibits the way the brain functions. Uh, and has a big impact on the narrator of the, there we go, capitalized and put in quotation marks, the black cat. Okay, so there's our topic sentence. It introduces what we're talking about here. Alcohol inhibits the way the brain functions and has a big impact on the narrator of the black cat. Okay, so now we need to find a quote from the story that relates to alcohol having a big effect on him. So if we look back at our outline, this will help us a lot. Uh, One night I came home quite late from the inn where I now spent more and more time drinking. How does this affect the story? You can use this quote. You can use another quote from the story about him drinking alcohol, like what happens directly after that. Um, that's up to you. I would I would recommend using one we already have here. So one night I came home quite late from the inn where I now spent more and more time drinking. You can just copy and paste this into your TBA. Uh, in the text, in the story, it states, and then quotation marks, oops, Control shift V to get rid of the purple and make sure you make it so it's formatted correctly. One night I came home from the inn where I now spent more of my time drinking. Okay, now you need to put that into your own words. This quote means, or this means, blah, 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 blah. Then tell me why that's important. And how does that make him unreliable? Okay. The final thing you need to do for this paragraph is connect it back to your thesis. So we've done these two things together to get you started. You need to put the quote in your own words. What does this quote mean? Why is it important? And then why does this make him unreliable? Why does him spending more and more time drinking make him unreliable, okay? 
If you guys have questions about this TDA, definitely let me know. I am more than happy to help. Make sure, number one, you're using your outline. And number two, you're using these steps to outline what needs to go in each paragraph. Okay, they're pretty much the same for the body paragraphs, but make sure when you finally get down to the conclusion, you restate your thesis, give a brief summary, talk about him being an alcoholic, talk about him being violent, talk about him being impulsive, a, a transition sentence, and connect back to your hook, your quote we have up here about them all being unreliable, us all being unreliable narrators. That doesn't mean copy and paste, that means connect back, talk about how everyone is unreliable in some way, shape, or form. Um, before you turn this in, I would appreciate if you got rid of the text that we don't need. So if we got rid of all of these things, it'll just make it easier for me to read. Um, and easier for me to grade as well. Okay. Like I said, if you have questions, please let me know. Okay, I can even open up a Google Meet and help you. All right, have a nice day, guys.